leaders in any one country congregate together and work together through the differences. On the 11th of May, uh, on the platform of the Latvian International Public Movement, uh, a big online conference um, took place where thousands of people from more than 100 countries and the world gathered together to discuss urgent um, problems in the society. And uh, people of different nationalities, religions and social status uh, told that they, we want to live in peace, we have nothing to divide. The question is, what do you think? Uh, where does this peace start? And what can every single person on earth do and contribute so that peace would come? We are focusing on inclusive society, trying to build trust across ethnic and religious and social divides. Peace is both and the relational issue on the personal level. It is a social issue in your nearest environment, but it really relates also to the structures and the power that surround you. And if you want to build peace, you have to look around and say, what is the nature of the conflict here? And you have to find your own ethical position and their own spiritual inspiration to be a messenger of peace and a messenger of hope. What unites all us, all humans, internally? What does unite us? We are all united in the spiritual aspect because we are all human beings created by one creator. And one creator, that's God. That's why here we are religions for faith. We are different religions united by the spirit. So you have a spirit, I have a spirit. It doesn't matter the outside skin is different, but we all have one spirit. So that spirit aspect is the one that unites us. I think the fact that we're all humans is what unites us. So it's beyond religion. I mean, if we can just, you know, see that how sacred life is and like our differences, what are they like? I mean, what really are they? Aren't aren't you and I the same on the inside? And, and like that's so beautiful. And focus on that, and not on like, oh man, he's Muslim, oh he's Hindu, or he's Christian. What is that? Man? Like focus on humanity and talk about peace. It's not about tolerating someone's religion. It's about accepting it. That yes, he has a different faith from mine. I accept him for who he is, and I might have a different belief, but that's okay. We can, we're all, all the same inside. I think the humanity has uh, united us because at, at the end we are all humans. Even you have different, it's beautiful to, to, to have this diversity here. You find some different, different people, but different for me in their, in their tradition. But in, in, in our values of humanity, I think we are, we are the same. We are just looking for a good life, for peace. So I think this is important thing. What unites us? Humanity. I think that when we make something to against another person or against nature, we are diminished in our humanity. Every good act that you do make human nature better. Every bad thing that you do make human nature uh, down. Put human nature down. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. the right word. Mm -hmm. Then we have to try to work always work trying to make things better. People are actually united by peace and faith in their heart. This is why we have this craving for peace and true faith. What unites us as people is what our forefather brought in his heart, which is faith. Faith unites us. We don't know about it, but we want to know. That's why we have gathered here today, around faith. In fact, religions for peace means faith in peace. And that's what brought us together here, isn't it? Faith in peace united us. It has to start within. Everything has to start within the heart. If you make your heart pure, and if you are 
worried about the next person that without thinking selfish thoughts, selfless thinking, that is what we want, not selfish thinking. Yeah, so 100% the peace begins with you, with who you are. And if you're at peace with yourself, and if everybody's at peace with themselves, why would they fight with someone else? It's a matter of mindset. It's a matter of uh, internalizing the issue of peace in each one of us. I should value uh, my, my friend as a human being, and they should also value me as a human being. There should not be something like discrimination, um, racism, all those things are a trigger to violence. So if we have that mindset and understanding, tolerance, uh, working together, team spirit, having a vision to where we are going, I believe that will be very possible. I think the peace starts uh, start from us, from me, from you, from everyone in this hall. We can stop the peace. If I, if I just be uh, honest with myself to, to agree with you, uh, in, in, in our life and humanity and be with you in, in, in the same in the same area and same light I think this this we can from here we can stop the peace and even it's 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 the same uh, on the different religious leaders it's it's it starts from them from their own if they if they be honest with themselves to be uh, to be agree will live with each other I think we can start and distribute peace from here to around the world. You have to look for peace in yourself so that you can give peace to others, no? But also you have to build peace. It's not something that you're going to receive. You have to work for it. And if we, need, if we want to have peace, we need to have better condition of living for the poor. You cannot just look for yourself. You have to look for the other, especially if the other is suffering, if the other has a need. Mm -hmm. no? And I think there's this, 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 this is in the heart, is in the human heart, this possibility of open yourself to the other. And if you make that possible, you're going to be free and you're going to be happy. To have a good intention, to become better, to be more beautiful in character. Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, I have only been sent to perfect good moral character. Like this, if you see something bad in your environment, if possible, remove it with your hand. If you cannot do it, if you don't have such a possibility, then with your tongue make a warning and recommendation. And if you are not allowed to do it either, there is tyranny and you are not allowed to say everything, then do it with your heart, with your prayer. First peace starts in your heart. If your heart is not at peace, if you are not at peace with yourself, you cannot radiate peace to others. That is the only way we can change the world, by giving love to others, so that as each one of us receives love, then we have more love to give the next person. You reposit love in yourself, so you can give that love to others. So I feel that it is a very big challenge, but it's not something that we cannot do. So I think that is very essential part of our message of love, our message of togetherness, our message of working in harmony with each other. We are all human beings. We are all made by the one creator. So we have to live in harmony with each other. First of all, I would say that if you want to put things in order somewhere, you should start with yourself. You can't create a world by pointing at other people and saying this and this is bad. But I think you should be a good example yourself. And if you want peace, then you must live peacefully. This is probably the best way. So try to influence other people by setting a good example yourself. I also believe that peace begins where you allow your close people to be who they are, accept people as they are. And a woman in faith, or women in faith, we have Muslims, we have a Roman Catholic, Evangelicals, uh, we work together and we believe that as women we can change the world from the spiritual aspect and also translating it into the physical. We have that potential, we have that power. Defining a goal for yourself and that goal should be peace. Like literally it should be like, you know, 
well being like because you can compete all you want but in the end like we all are going to you know move to the next life or you know go to heaven or like you know like literally whatever your belief says this this is just a transient time that you have here on this world so why do you, why is there so much competition why is there so much hate why why isn't there more love like you said right and if there is more love we can obviously have constructive society like hey man she's a nice person or he's a nice person why can't i give him give them this opportunity so i am here because somebody opened a door for me and and he the person who opened a door for me got a door opened by someone else for them so we believe in giving opportunities to people very very important because we live in a very selfish society yes you're the first one the second and the third and you don't care what happening to the other is not your problem you have to look for yourself no because you cannot be happy if the other is sad no and i think it's very important this is this this idea is in a, is in the christian tradition is in the indigenous tradition is in many other religious tradition no it's not that you have to be happy is that i have to be happy in relation to the others no and we have to learn that So it's good to to stay uh, to sit in one, in one table and to share our diversity and our different uh, ideas to be uh, to like to to, to create uh, a place just we will make us all live together to love each other and 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 to love in peace that's why I call I call for there is something beyond that I me my so I am living in a society i'm living in conjunction with others so i cannot live in isolation i need you you need me we all need each other and that's how we form humanity so that first internally you have got to understand that if you understand that internally then your every action will be guided by that that consumption doesn't make us happy. Consumption makes only the animal happy. Because this is the world of animals. And animals are always looking for food. No animal looks up. Even the bird looks down. And if it's in the sky, it looks down at the food. But the task of a human, the meaning of his life on earth, is not to be distracted by this, all that is here, but to look up. And he must look in the direction where he came to find his way back. How do I find it? Where can I find the stargate, the gateway to paradise? We were created to the image of, of God, and likeness of God. That's what the, the sacred book says. And that means that we are free. We have to choose what we want to do. And each time we are faced with this very important question. You are, you have, you are facing life or death, the good and the bad. Choose life so that you can live. You and your children can live. I think this is a very important issue. No? I think that especially people that have a faith or a religious uh, tradition, we have to be aware that it's not that God created the bad, no? It's we. Every single person should uh, reflect to send the negative information. We should have a strong behavior to think or uh, to consider about everything phenomena, everything programs, or everything things. I mean, at least by ourselves first, I and mean, we should uh, try to make an effort uh, for doing that. Otherwise, I mean, we are really, really past me. I mean, so much information, actually too much information, uh, always coming, 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 and uh, no longer to be able to, how can I say, understand what is truly happening. So therefore, we need to have a strong behavior to think about it by ourselves. In Africa, sometimes, because of um, uh, internet and all those things, 
We are very slow in, in disseminating knowledge because we don't have all this technology. We have them, but it's very slow. But in Africa, we used to sit around the fire at night. Our parents used to tell us stories about values. For example, love. They'll tell us stories that, okay, in this whole story, the main essence is love. So it, it, you don't need a gadget. So long you have information, you can disseminate information to the next generation. So be the yeah. source. I should be the source of information. If I get information, good information from like here, I have to tell it to others so that we make a chain of information. Well, I definitely see that the media have a lot of power over people, how they feel, whether they are in a good or bad mood when they go out of the house. And that's why I think it's really important in connection with the exemplary function of the media, that such events are really comprehensively covered in the media, because it gives hope to people who hear it, I think. Therefore, it is very important that such an event simply shows people that they can also work together. Uh, you just mentioned about love. I believe love is the greatest gift of all. If we have love towards one another, I don't think society will also suffer. Because love, okay, in our, in, I'm a Christian, and in Christianity we say God is love. And in Christianity we say anyone who hates his brother does not love. Anyone who hates his brother has already killed that brother. So I believe love is the underlining factor. If we have love, we'll have better society, we'll have um, that spirit to care for everyone and everything in the society. Wonderful. Yes. So what is the highest love in your sense? So for you, what is the highest love? The highest love? If, if I have God, I have the highest love. I cannot love if I don't have God. If I, if I don't believe in God, who is love, I can't love. It's not possible. So for me, the highest love is God. But since I have God, I have to love. Because when we say, when, when, when I'm, I'm a Christian, I'm Muslim, I'm Jewish, I'm Mindayan, I say that my religion is calling for love, calling for peace, so I, can't, I have to just to put that on the table, like just to, just to start from this, from this uh, rule in my life, in my, in my family, in my society. When, when everyone, I think, think like that, we can live with each other. With each other. Love for me means reaching out to the other person, irrespective of who or what she is. Unconditional love. So that is what the love that we should be looking at. Not a selfish love. Sometimes love can be interpreted in different ways. It can be a selfish love. I love you because you love, because I can get something from you. So that is not love. That's selfish love. That's one-sided love. Love is a two-way street. There's a giving and there's a taking. There's a sharing of ideas, of thoughts, everything. So love is unconditional. Whether you are black or white or good or bad, whatever may be, I still love you. Wherever you are or whatever you do. And I think that is the purest love, that unconditional love. So if I go back uh, to my religious teachings, I'm Muslim, I follow Islam. So uh, it says that the mother has the highest right and then the father but above both of them it's God. I haven't reached that level uh, for love of God you, you can say that is because uh, I see so many conflicts every day but I do feel that he does love us and we are here for a reason and in the end we're just like you know uh, I would say everything happens for a reason and Sometimes it's like the unexplainable, right? And that unexplainable 
is God's love to us. I think what is happening here today is very important. I also think it is not covered enough by the media, because if I wasn't here because of my job, I wouldn't know that this event is going to take place here today. So I think it should definitely be highlighted more. I think it is very important that people of different faiths from different parts of the world have gathered here and have a dialogue. I think this is the only way how peace should be maintained at all. I think that we have to build a better world. No? A world where everybody Whoever that person is, whoever that the color of the skin is, whatever money they have on their pockets, or even people that are different, they are human beings. I think that we have to learn to recognize the common humanity that we have. And we have to build from that common humanity to build a better world for everybody. A message that I would like to give everybody is do not think of only yourself. Think that there are others around you. And everybody is your brother and your sister. So if you are in a family, and if it is your family, your siblings, wouldn't you reach out to them? Same way, everybody, the world is your sibling, the world is your family. So please do not think of only yourself. Give selfless love. You made the right decision. This is the right way. And I think the Lord also supports you in your work. Because it is meaningful work, meaningful thoughts and good intent, good steps towards the light. You are on the right path, on the right way. And I think the saints support you. I can wish each person a little bit of discretion. Yes, and in any case, peace in the heart. This is the most important thing.